plus and morning to my dear lovable students uh, welcome to max class in this conversation we are going to continuation of example and related exercise 4.5 okay i'm moving to continuation of last subdivision the last class i have finished with the three subdivision from example 4.17 i'm moving to subdivision 4 from example 4.17 question simplify sin inverse sin 10 solution once again, I would like to rewrite the question. Sin inverse of sin 10. Last three subdivision, each and every term, pi, one of the important value, but there is no pi. So what we have to do, just add numerator and denominator, extra pi. What will happen? If it add, it means sin inverse sin 10 pi pi pi. Again, sin inverse sin Instead of denominator pi, we can write it 22 by 7. Again, sin inverse sin. Reciprocal means 7 bring out numerator. Already we have numerator 10 into 7. So 10 into 7 means 70. Therefore, 70 pi by 22. Now, numerator denominator cancel means 35 by 11. Sin inverse sin of 35 by 11. Now we can do the normal method. The condition sin inverse of sin x is equal to x when x belongs to negative pi by 2 to positive pi by 2, isn't it? But found the value. What is the value? Sin inverse of sin 35 by 11 is equal to 35 by 11 means it does not belong to negative pi by 2 to positive pi by 2. So what we have to do is to rearrange it. 35 by 11 means sin inverse of sin 3 pi plus 2 pi by 11. Look at there. 3 into 11 means 33. 33 pi plus 2 pi means 35 pi by 11 will come. Okay. Therefore, sin of 3 pi plus theta is equal to what is the answer? Actually, minus sin theta will come. How? Look at there. According to the unit circle, this is 0 to pi, pi to 2 pi, again 3 pi, 3 pi plus, isn't it? Plus means lies on third quadrant. Third quadrant means all silver teacup. Tan only positive. Here we have sin. Is, that's why I have written for negative sin theta. Therefore, sin inverse of sin 3 pi plus theta means negative sin 2 pi by 11. Already we know sin, sin inverse of minus x is equal to minus, minus sin inverse of x, isn't it? Therefore, how to rearrange the value? Therefore, sin inverse of minus sin means minus sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 11. Sin inverse sin cancel means answer will be minus 2 pi by 11. It belongs to negative pi by 2 to positive pi by 2. But in your book, given the answer, 3 pi minus 10, isn't it? What is the answer? 3 pi minus 10. Yeah, it's correct, actually. I will show it. 3 pi minus 10 is there. Okay. What is the meaning of pi? 22 by 7, isn't it? So, minus 2 into 22 by 7. Already, we have denominated 11 is there. So, 11 and 22 cancel means 2 times. So, minus 2 into 2 means minus 4 by 7. But book answer, what is the meaning of pi value? 22 by 7 minus 10 means 3 into 22 means 66. Again, cross multiply means minus 10 into 7 minus 70 divided by 7. Therefore, 66 minus 70 means minus 4 by 7. We have the given answer also. What the answer? Minus 2 by 11. Instead, minus 2 pi by 11 means what is the meaning? Minus 4 by 7. So, this is also correct answer. Okay, minus 2 pi by 11. Okay, I hope the subdue. So, possible question because four subdivision is a whether two mark or three mark okay to be allowed okay i will continue the next example we stay on the line moving to example 4.18 because subdivision one given three subdivision okay one by one we can discuss solution for subdivision one a question sign of 
பை பை த்ரீ மைனஸ் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஆஃப் மைனஸ் ஒன் பை ட்ரூ த லாஸ்ட் ப்ராப்ளம் ஆல்சோ வியூ டிஸ்கஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டேம் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஆஃப் மைனஸ் எக்ஸஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு மைனஸ் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸஸ் ஹவு டு ரீஅரேஞ்ச் இன் செகண்ட் பார்ட் ஃபஸ்ட்டு டேம் அசட் இஸ் சைன் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் பை த்ரீ மைனஸ் ஆஃப் மைனஸ் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் பை ட்ரூ எகைன் சைன் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் பை த்ரீ மைனஸ் இன்று மைனஸ் ப்ளஸ் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் பை ட்ரூ நவ் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஒன் பை ட்ரூ மீன்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபைவ் பை த்ரீ அசட் இஸ் சைன் இன்வர்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு செக் இட் இன் யுவர் ஃபிங்கர் தம் சைடு தம் சைடு திஸ் இஸ் கால்டு இண்டிகேட் மிடில் ரிங் அண்ட் லிட்டில் கிவன் வேல்யூ ஒன் பை டூ தம் சைட் மீன்ஸ் டெஃபினெட்லி வி கேன் ஷியோர் திஸ் இஸ் கால்டு ஃபை பை சிக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபை பை சிக்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஃபை பை த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் ஃபை பை சிக்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் எகைன் சைன் ஆஃப் காமன் டினாமினேட்டர் சிக்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் சிக்ஸ் டிவைட் பை த்ரீ மீன்ஸ் ட்ரூ ட்ரூ இன்டு ஃபைவ் மீன்ஸ் ட்ரூ ஃபைவ் லாஸ்ட் டேம் சிக்ஸ் டிவைட் பை சிக்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஒன் டைம்ஸ் ஒன் இன்டு ஃபைவ் மீன்ஸ் ஃபைவ் தேர் ஃபோர் சைன் ஆஃப் டூ ஃபைவ் ப்ளஸ் ஃபைவ் மீன்ஸ் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் பை சிக்ஸ் எகைன் த்ரீ அண்ட் சிக்ஸ் கேன்சல் மீன்ஸ் ட்ரூ வில் கம் தேர் ஃபோர் சைன் ஃபைவ் பை டூ வேல்யூ வில் பி ஒன் ஓகே சப் டிவிஷன் ஒன் இஸ் ஓவர் மூவிங் டு சப் டிவிஷன் ட்ரூ Moving to subdivision 2 from example 4.18 question solution cos of 1 by 2 cos inverse 1 by 8 this is whole term consider for theta means so what we need to find out cos theta is equal to what is answer so theta is equal to 1 by 2 cos inverse 1 by 8 again cross multiply means 2 theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 by 8 isn't it so therefore cos inverse bring out opposite side means cos 2 theta is equal to 1 by 8 cos 2 theta we have four different type of formula but here we are utilizing so true cos square theta minus 1 is equal to 1 by 8 therefore minus 1 bring out opposite side means positive one isn't it so true cos square theta is equal to 1 plus 1 by 8 therefore true cos square theta is equal to 1 plus 1 by 8 means 1 into 8 8 8 plus 1 by 8 now true cos square theta is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 9 by 8 again cross multiply means 2 into 8 means 16 so cos square theta is equal to 9 divided by 2 into 18 means 16 therefore cos theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 9 means 3 will come square root of 16 means 4 will come but negative value rejected why cos 2 theta also we have the positive value therefore cos theta is equal to minus 3 by 4 rejected therefore final answer what we need actually cos theta is equal to what is answer therefore cos theta is equal to positive 3 by 4 this is answer for subdivision 2 okay we'll continue next subdivision moving to subdivision third from example 4.18 question tan of of sin inverse true a over 1 plus a square plus half of cos inverse 1 minus a square over 1 plus a square here i have been utilizing true method okay method 1 to utilize inverse function method 2 normal method the last year method okay both method it's useful for you during the exam time okay i will do one by one consider for method 1 solution question what is the question tan of half into sin inverse of true a over 1 plus a square plus half of cos inverse of 1 minus a square under 1 plus a square so to utilize inverse function sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse x is equal to otherwise sin inverse of true x divided by 1 plus x square this is called true tan inverse x next to 1 cos inverse of 1 minus x square over 1 plus x square this is called true tan inverse x the last one tan inverse of true x over 1 minus x square this is called also true tan inverse x 
listen so inverse function instead of a taking x means what will happen tan of of into sin inverse of 2x over 1 plus c square isn't it so this is considered true x over 1 plus x square next condition of of cos inverse 1 minus x square over 1 plus x square now tan of of into sin inverse 2x over 1 plus x square means 2 tan inverse x isn't it so into true tan inverse this is actually a isn't it so we can write it true tan inverse a then plus next condition also of into true tan inverse a now 2 to cancel here also 2 to cancel so tan inverse a plus a plus tan inverse a means true tan inverse a what is the meaning of 2 tan inverse x actually second condition tan inverse of third condition what is the condition instead of x applying a means 2a over 1 minus a square so tan inverse of 2a over 1 minus a square now tan tan inverse cancel means the first method answer 2a divided by 1 minus a square okay method one answer okay i will write it they have method one method one answer true a over 1 minus a square method two to apply the normal without inverse okay trigonometric function So method 2, sorry, the once again I would like to rewrite the question. Solution tan of of into sin inverse of true a over 1 plus a square plus of into cos inverse 1 minus a square under 1 plus a square. Now let a is equal to tan theta. Okay. Let a is equal to tan theta what will happen tan of half into sin inverse of instead of a we can write it tan theta so true tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta next condition also half into cos inverse of 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta is it it first one tan of of into sin inverse inside 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta means we can write no sin 2 theta isn't it so sin 2 theta next condition also plus of into cos inverse of second term also cos 2 theta isn't it cos theta another one term another one formula 1 minus tan square theta over 1 plus tan square theta now cos inverse cos cancel so sin inverse sin cancel remaining tan of half into true theta plus half into true theta again two true cancel isn't it therefore after cancellation tan of two theta will come isn't it so half into 2 theta so tan 2 theta means formula 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta instead of tan theta what is the meaning a isn't it therefore final answer true a divided by 1 minus a square this is answer for method 2 look at there method 1 also true a over 1 minus a square method 2 also true a over 1 minus a square okay I hope now you understand how to utilize a trigonometric function, how to utilize with the inverse function. Okay, so I will continue the next example. Moving to example 4.19, prove that. Okay, tan of sin inverse x is equal to x by square root of 1 minus x square. So, prove that question. Solution consider for LHS term. What is our LHS term? Tan of sin inverse x 
divided by nothing to number so we can consider for one okay x by one means what will happen according to the osa chota form osa chota sin means opposite divided by hypotenuse cos means adjacent divided by hypotenuse tan means opposite divided by adjacent so now we have sin inverse x by one if you convert for tan inverse means tan and tan inverse cancel so first what we have to do to draw one right angle this is called opposite side of right angle hypotenuse this is theta means opposite side remaining one side adjacent sin inverse x by one sin inverse x by one means opposite divided by hypotenuse this is called opposite denominator it's called hypotenuse okay opposite value x this is considered for value will be x hypotenuse value will be one means adjacent value one minus x square how in any right angle triangle square a hypotenuse so hypotenuse value already given so we need that right we are con converting for the minus one minus x square therefore tan of to change tan inverse means what will happen tan inverse means opposite divided by adjacent opposite value x by adjacent value square root of 1 minus x square now we can check it tan and tan inverse cancel therefore remaining answer x by square root of 1 minus x square this is called our rhs value isn't it so we have shown from lhs to rhs therefore we can write it hence proved okay example 4.19 one of the important whether two mark or three mark okay i will continue the next example Moving to example 4.20, question evaluate sine of sine inverse 3 by 5 plus secant inverse 5 by 4. Solution, given condition outside sine is there, inside sine inverse of 3 by 5 plus secant inverse 5 by 4. First you have to understand, already you know so many problems we are utilizing, OSA Chota, isn't it? Osa chota means sin theta means opposite divided by hypotenuse, cos theta means adjacent divided by hypotenuse, tan theta means opposite divided by adjacent. Okay. Draw true right angle. So what will happen? First condition sin inverse 3 by 5. Second condition secant inverse 5 by 4 sin means opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite hypotenuse this is right angle this is theta means opposite 3 adjacent value 5 definitely hypotenuse value will be 4 isn't it next condition secant inverse pi by 4 secant means reciprocal of cos what is the meaning of cos theta cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse therefore secant theta is equal to hypotenuse divided by adjacent this is called hypotenuse this is called adjacent so theta means hypotenuse phi adjacent value will be 4 means definitely opposite value will be 3 so why we are applying the true right angle triangle to change both the tan tan inverse so after converting the tan inverse we have one simple formula this chapter completely utilizing one of the only one tan inverse x plus tan inverse y or tan inverse x minus tan inverse y sometimes tan inverse x plus tan inverse x both the term will be equal also so listen very carefully so sign outside common then to convert tan inverse means what will happen what is the meaning of tan inverse opposite divided by adjacent so opposite value 3 adjacent value 5 so 3 by 5 next condition plus tan inverse means what is the meaning opposite divided by adjacent opposite value 3 3 by 4 isn't it so now look at there the first condition <coughs> so 3 by tan inverse isn't it so tan inverse means opposite divided by adjacent sin sin means opposite opposite divided by hypotenuse isn't it so this is actually yeah first one i think this is wrong no listen very carefully what is the meaning of sign opposite divided by hypotenuse so this is hypotenuse no so hypotenuse value will be 5 hypotenuse value will be 5 means definitely 
adjacent value will be 4. Now, so tan inverse means opposite divided by adjacent. Opposite divided by adjacent. There 4 will come now. So the both value will be same. Therefore, we have two different type of the formula. I would like to write true formula. Whatever you like, you can prefer it. Okay. Listen very carefully. So tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y over 1 minus xy. The condition xy less than 1 as well as tan inverse x plus tan inverse x same value see we have here also same value tan inverse x plus tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of instead of y we can apply x so x plus x over 1 minus x into x so tan inverse x plus tan inverse x means true tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of x plus x means 2x over 1 minus x square. Now, the last value outside sign is there. Outside sign value is there, isn't it? Sign of tan inverse 3 by 4 plus tan inverse 3 by 4 plus tan inverse 3 by 4 means true tan inverse 3 by 4. Now, what we have to do? The last method true tan inverse instead of x 3 by 4 means sin of tan inverse of true into 3 by 4 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 the whole square. Next one sin of tan inverse of so 2 into 3 means we can write it 6 by 4 divided by 1 minus 9 by 16, isn't it? So, 9 by 16. So, sine tan inverse numerator 6 by 4 then 1 into 16 means 16 minus 9 by 16 now sine of tan inverse 6 by 4 into denominator reciprocal means 16 minus 9 is equal to 7 7 by 16 means we can write now 16 by 7 now 16 and 4 means 4 times possible isn't it now look at there 16 divided by 4, so 4 times. Therefore, 16 into 4 means 24 divided by 7 will come, isn't it? Now, sine of tan inverse 24 divided by 7. So, inside the term, to convert sine inverse means sine and sine inverse cancel the bracket of the term to prove the answer. So, what we have to do again, one more, you have to draw right angle triangle, isn't it? So, right angle triangle means, listen, what is the meaning of tan theta opposite divided by adjacent? Opposite adjacent opposite value 24 adjacent value will be 7. So, what is the meaning of right angle triangle Pythagoras theorem? In any right angle triangle, square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of square of other two sides. So, 24 square means 576, 7 square means 49. So, now 576 plus 49 means so 576 plus 49 is equal to square root of 625 so 625 means perfect square of 25 isn't it so now after getting hypotenuse value to getting hypotenuse value sine of sine inverse means opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite value 24 hypotenuse value 25 now sine and sine inverse cancel means answer will be 24 divided by 25 this is answer for example 4.20 okay i will continue the next example moving to question 4.21 prove that you given two subdivision okay one by one we can discuss moving to subdivision one solution prove that question consider for lhs means 
subdivision 1 what is lgh tan tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 1 by 3 what is the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y so tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y over 1 minus xy the condition xy less than 1 now instead of x we can write it 1 by 2 value instead of y we can write it 1 by 3 value therefore tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 again tan inverse of cross multiply means numerator common denominator 6 means 1 into 3 means 3 1 into 2 means 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 6 again tan inverse of 3 plus 2 means 5 by 6 again denominator 1 into 6 means 6 minus 1 means 5 by 6 again 5 by 6 5 by 6 cancel means what is the value tan inverse of 1 will come 1 means tan pi by 4 isn't it therefore tan inverse of tan pi by 4 again tan inverse tan cancel means is equal to pi by 4 This is our R gauges, isn't it? It's equal to R gauges. Therefore, first subdivision one we can write it. Hence, proved. Okay. Moving to subdivision two. So subdivision two. First one. True tan inverse one by true plus this is L gauges. Okay, L gauges again tan inverse one by seven. We have to prove tan inverse thirty one by seventeen. Just to split it, true tan inverse x means what will happen? Tan inverse one by true again tan inverse one by true third term as it is tan inverse one by seven. This is actually tan inverse x plus tan inverse x because x value will be same. Now, what is the formula? Tan inverse x plus tan inverse x means tan inverse of x plus x over one minus x into x. So, tan inverse x plus tan inverse x means so true tan inverse x is equal to. Tan inverse of x plus x is equal to 2x over 1 minus x square. Instead of x, we can write it 1 by 2. Means what will happen? Tan inverse of 2 into 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 the whole square. Again, 2 2 cancel. Next condition: tan inverse of 1 over 1 minus 1 by 4. So now what will happen? So, tan inverse of one as it is. The denominator one into four means four. Four minus one is equal to three by four, isn't it? So again, reciprocal means next term as it is, isn't it? Here actually, next one tan inverse one by seven will come. Tan inverse one by seven. So now tan inverse four by three reciprocal no plus. Tan inverse one by seven. Next same condition. What is our condition? X plus y. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y means what is the formula? Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y over one minus x y. What is the condition? X y less than one. Now, this is considered x. This is considered y. Means tan inverse x plus y means four by three plus one by seven divided by one minus four by three into one by seven. So now what will happen? Again, tan inverse of 
Common denominator 3 7s are 21 means 4 7s are 28. 1 3 are 3 divided by 1 minus 4 divided by 21. So next step tan inverse of 28 plus 3 means 31 divided by 21 divided by 1 into 21 means 21 minus 4 divided by 21. Again 21 21 cancel. Then 21 21 cancel means tan inverse of so 31 divided by 21 minus 4 means 17 will come isn't it this is our RHS no tan inverse so 31 by 7 going to 4.22 one of the important 5 mark question okay question if cos inverse x plus cos inverse y plus cos inverse z is equal to pi we have to show x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 xyz is equal to 1 okay listen very carefully what is the given condition solution cos inverse x plus cos inverse y plus cos inverse z is equal to pi plus cos inverse z to bring out opposite side means cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is equal to pi minus cos inverse z okay now what we have to do one property is there cos inverse of minus z is equal to pi minus cos inverse of z okay instead of pi minus cos inverse z we can write it cos inverse of minus z therefore cos inverse of so left hand side term as it is cos inverse of x plus cos inverse of y is equal to cos inverse of minus z again cos inverse bring out opposite side means cos of cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is equal to only minus z now this is one formula no this is considered for a this is considered for b means cos a plus b what is the formula cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so now this is a this is b but we have cos into a therefore cos of a means cos inverse x cos inverse x into cos of b means cos inverse y minus sin of a means cos inverse x into sin of b what is the b value cos inverse y now here cos cos inverse cancel here also cos cos inverse cancel the first term s into y, x into y isn't it x y minus next one sin of cos inverse x into sin of cos inverse y is equal to there is actually equal to what is the value minus z is equal to minus z we have to apply there osa shota why we are applying to convert sin inverse means sin and sin inverse cancel okay that's why divided by we have to apply for one here also divided by apply for one we have to draw true right angle So this is hypotenuse means what is the meaning of cos actually adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent value will be x hypotenuse value will be 1 therefore definitely we can say we can say definitely what is the value x by so what is the value cos inverse x by 1 sin cos inverse y so definitely square root of 1 minus x square will come cos inverse also adjacent divided by hypotenuse but y is there instead of first right triangle adjacent side x means second right angle triangle adjacent value will be 1 hypotenuse value same as it is 1 so square root of 1 minus y square will come the first term x y minus sin of to convert sin inverse means what is the meaning opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite value 1 so opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite divided by hypotenuse opposite value square root of 1 minus x square divided by 1 means no need to write next condition also sin into sin inverse surely we can say instead of x we can write it 1 minus y square but is equal to minus z 
Second condition also sin sin inverse cancel. Sin sin inverse cancel means x y minus square root of 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus y square is equal to minus z. So, x, y minus z bring out opposite sign means positive z. Minus term bring out opposite sign means square root of 1 minus x square into square root of 1 minus y square. Again, squaring on both side means. So, squaring on both side, what will happen? x, y plus z, the whole square is equal to 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square a plus b the whole square form a square plus 2ab plus b square therefore x square y square plus z square plus true xy z is equal to 1 into 1 means 1 minus y square into 1 means minus y square minus x square into 1 means minus x square minus into minus plus x square and y square plus x square y square plus x square y square cancel balance z square plus true xy z minus y square bring out opposite side means positive y square minus x square bring out opposite side means positive x square is equal to only one is there so just we have to rearrange it starting with x square y square plus z square plus true x y z is equal to one this is our proof of the condition no therefore we can write it hence so proved okay so please listen my dear students one of the important five mark questions okay if you have any doubt please put in comment box i am ready to clarify your doubts okay i hope you are satisfied in this session if you have any feedback please do write your feed comment box i am ready to rectify my mistake if i did okay i will continue the next session bye bye